recently did a shooting through the steel video with uh, Swiss powder and the long rifle. Flintlock, that is. Mr. 331957 writes, Good video, Mark. Now, since 80 and 90 grains will put a hole through the 1 8 metal using a flintlock, how many grains would it take from a percussion to punch through it? Since there's really nowhere if the amount of gas is being lost through the nipple, as there is a touch hole. Might be interesting to find out. And thank you for your videos. Well, Mr. 331957, we're going to put that to the test. And we'll use the same piece of steel that we've used in the other projects. Um, it's pretty uh, <laughs> beat up. It might be the last time we'll use this rascal. Because <laughs> it, uh, it's about ready for the scrapyard with all the holes in it. But we're going to paint her up and put the metal on it and see what happens. Just a reminder, ear and eye protection is strongly recommended. Probably the, one of the first things that you'll do when you start out in the old hobby with a percussion gun, you do what we call pop a cap. Now these days that's probably not very popular since caps are kind of tough to find. But if you want to be sure that your channel is all cleared out and that your gun will actually work when you pull the trigger, then you'll want to put a cap on there. Be sure it's unloaded from the last time you were out and pull the trigger. As you put it against a leaf or something on the ground, you will see that that will actually move in the wind and you're ready to go. And we're gonna start out with 40 grains of Swiss 3F. Will 40 punch through it with a .490 round ball and a .14 thousandths pillow ticking patch? Let's see what happens. Since this is a tradition woodsman hawking gun in 50 caliber, <laughs> it won't take much to uh, load this one up sitting down. It's kind of a small little rascal. So we're gonna set this thing on 40 grains Swiss 3F right down in this rascal. Close the lid up and drop it right down in there. Cap the horn to keep it safe. A pill ticking patch. And a round ball right on top with the sprue straight up. Ugh. And I'm gonna have to use a ball starter because I don't like using them anyway, but those .49 those are pretty tough for me to load. There we go. Whoa, baby, that was tight. Hold it right through it. Let's do it and see what happens. Whoa, put a hole right in the middle of it. I don't know if it went through or not. Let's go see. Just put a dent in it. Not even much of a dent in the back of it. How about 50? Let's try 50 with the old cap gun. I'll change around a little bit so you can see how far the target is. He even found the lead from that last shot. <laughs> We're going to melt that baby again and shoot it over. Just like the last video, I shot it off to the left. 60 grains of Swiss 3F. How about it, Mr. Traditions? Can you do it? Wow. That got in the middle of it. I love it. Uh, Let's go see. Wide slosh of paint gone. Let's put 70 in it and see what it'll do. <laughs> Off to the side again. That's almost a fail. Well, that's 70 grains and shot the meat off of that metal. <laughs> wow. Bend it sideways and actually split off part of the metal. Man, I sure would want to get hit by that round ball at 70 grains. Woo. Show you a little bit different angle here. Let's get this up to 80 grains. Woo. That stuff's potent when you get up this high. I don't know how much higher I'm going to let it run. We'll put 80 ground in there. Cap that horn. Keep it safe. 
pillow ticking and uh, a 0 .490 round ball. Let's get the sprue straight up. I hate using ball starters. I'm gonna have to tonight. And, oh, send it home. Hit it right in the middle, not on the side. What happened to it? <laughs> the metal's gone. Let's see if we can find it. <laughs> Knocked it clear off the wires. Up there in the weeds somewhere, I imagine. Gosh. There's a piece of the lead. Oh, it's still hot, too. Oh, here it is. Gosh. I'll just bring it to you. <laughs> I gotta find the other coat hanger. There's the piece of lead. And the hole is right there. Just about all the way through. 90 grains. That's as high as I'm going. I can't remember if I've ever shot 90 grains of Swiss out of this thing or not. Today's the day. Well, it even takes it a while to fill it up. Okay. Well, that Delwin rod is a cool piece of rod to use since it's been so easy. Sometimes it's kind of hard to load them anyway. This is right here. Let's see if you can see the action a little better. Get one of them rare number 11 caps on there. How about it? That's right. Woo! Wow! I think it hit like a cannon when I shot it. And look at that baby swing up there. It's got to be a hole through it with that. As strong as that thing was. Let's go look. Well, I do believe success has happened. Right there. I think that's the hole. I'm not sure. I probably should have painted them up to see. But right there. The round ball is not here in the front anywhere. And it is punched right through there. Wow, that is pretty cool. <laughs> Let me paint this thing one more time and shoot it with another 80 and see if we get through it this time where I can find it. Oh, I didn't know that little Woodsman Hawking gun can handle that type of uh, action. This was given to me by Mrs. Black Pedermaniac Shooter's brother back in 2013, which got me started in this crazy hobby. And I love every minute of it. Can't get enough of it. Second video today I've put together to show on the channel. <laughs> so let's go back down to 80 grains. Woo, that 90 was pretty potent. Stop at 80 this time. That Swiss is some pretty potent stuff anyway, so 80 grains of uh, Swiss 3F. How about it, Mr. Traditions? Can we go through it? Come on, let's do it. All the way through that metal. I guess you gotta hit it first. <laughs> oh, it never moved. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that baby dance that time. It's almost on the ground. I guess we could count that as success. I could just about put both fingers through that hole. <laughs> two holes and two in the same place. It might have been one there before. It cleared it out. I don't know. Let's load up a couple offhand. Let's see if I can hit this baby before I saw it for scrap because it's just about what it's worth now. Scrap. Choking now. Hit it. Come on, hit that thing. <laughs> yeah, yes! <laughs> one more time before we get out of here. I feel like on a lucky streak. You know how it is. You always just want to take one more before you go home. Just one more, right? <laughs> we'll have to get it, Mark. Come on, let's hit it. <laughs> yes! Yeah, it looks kind of beat up. <laughs> Look at the big bow in that thing. <laughs> oh, goodness. Got pimples on both sides though, pretty bad. Regardless, this was almost ready for the scrap yard. <laughs> I can't even like straighten it out or use shoot it anymore or not. Thanks for watching. It looks like 80 grains did it. Absolutely. Remember, Jesus does love you. And we'll catch you next Sunday on some other wild and wacky shooting adventure. Don't worry. I'll find something to shoot. <laughs> 
we'll see you next time. <laughs>